And we're not doing that because I've already tried them. I don't need to retry something twice. Okay, like I don't need to try something twice. It's like going back to your ex. No, I don't need to try something twice to know that it doesn't work. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you have accepted that you would feel free to stay and by staying, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that whenever I upload a video, you are notified. Um, hi. So I kind of feel like I need to say hi, welcome back. Like, well, you like welcome back if like you're a subscriber and then it's like, hi. Like, um, welcome to my channel if you're new. <laughs> Um, I've not. Let, let, do, do, do I really need to address it? I mean, like, how many times am I gonna do this where I'm gonna be like, um, this is why I've not been here? In today's video, you probably guessed by the title already. Um, no, I'm not ready to get pregnant yet. Please relax, aunties, relax, calm yourselves. Like, no. Um, <laughs> if you want, like, watch my last. Uh, JJ related video or should I say my hormone diary related video if you didn't know I'm just gonna link quite a few videos up here so they can kind of give background of where I have issues with the issues I have <laughs> with contraception and why I've arrived to this decision so I decided that I wanted my IUD removed one okay main reason why I actually decided that I wanted to have it removed was purely because of the fact that I was having more issues I had had it for like about well, I think two two and a half years by the time I had it removed I don't know why but like literally last year like March around March onward until I had it removed I was having like crazy I don't know why but like for some reason like my PMSing was just everywhere like I I was having more PMS symptoms and then my periods were literally just like bow 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 like my periods were everywhere number one my flow was even heavier and my cramps got worse so that i was just like okay this there's literally no point to this like it was like there is no point because i was like when i had the idea so and also the other thing was i was not exactly even being sexually active at that time so it was like mm, mm, what's the point of me even still having this right now <laughs> anyways so i was just like you know what i need because my reason for having the idea was like okay at least i don't think about it and i was like well because i tried five other contraceptions before that so i was like oh six time lucky <laughs> i don't know but it didn't work out that way and then i pretty much just ended up deciding that you know what let me remove it and see what happens like let me like when i had my id removed i literally had got to the point where i was like you know what get it removed and just like just do away with contraception for, for like just don't like just don't okay like do away with contraception right this was before <laughs> i pretty much was just like you know what I'll just do away with contraception like it's not really been serving me the way i thought it would be so let's kind of just see how my body will be so before that i then spoke to mom and then mom was like okay maybe you could try the depot again so me being me i was like very hesitant to try it again and then i went and spoke to my like gp and then my gp was like we could put you on the depot but it would be the nipple pill instead of the depo injection because I had a depo injection if you want to watch my experience with that <laughs> video right here did not like it so I was a bit hesitant my actual IUD removal was like simple like the simplest thing ever it was so quick like I was even surprised but like my anxiety was like off the roof when I like was going to the appointment like I literally like I had mum take a day off to go with me that's how scared I was like anyway whatever so if that happened uh, i had that removed that literally like i was like whoop, it was taken whatever and then like the nurse was just like um what are you thinking of doing terms of like contraception from now on and i was just like mm, <laughs> nothing <laughs> and do nothing i'll just be sticking to condoms that would be like my i'm thinking my form of contraception 
I'm sorry, I'm just like, mm, whatever. Now, on to the Depot pill that I got given. It's called Did Something. Like, I'll put it up on the screen. That. <sighs> it took some convincing for me to have that, like, prescribed. Because I went to the GP, spoke to my GP, and I was like, <laughs> and I had to explain to her, like, my issue with the Depot before. And then she was like, okay, fine. Um we'll try it and see how this goes and i was like okay fine just give me for three months because i was like if after three months i'm not feeling it because already in my mind i was really like i was already off it the contraception i was just like <laughs> i don't want it like <laughs> like I, I i don't want it okay like i don't want it so got it prescribed and i was only for three months i was only from december december january february if I'm not mistaken yeah I think so yeah I think those are the three months I had it for uh, those three months I had zero like my period was like not there at all but <laughs> you think that that was an advantage that I was not having my period no my cramps were mad I had to like I had headaches from hell like when I say headaches, I mean I literally had a headache every single day. And it wasn't even like a headache that you could take some paracetamol and be like, oh yeah, okay, then it's gonna go. No, no, I couldn't take anything. Like nothing would touch that headache. Like I had headaches every single day, which was not ideal. I literally, my mood swings that time. Like God bless someone's son, because I've put him through a lot. But, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> but like, yeah, my mood swings were everywhere, like that time, it was just literally here, there, whatever, like, my, I didn't, I, could, I couldn't, like, there was a lot going on in my brain at that time, purely because of the contraception i don't know why i i literally think i some i do not know what juju goes on with my reproductive system in contraception i i really don't like i've never known anyone that's had that many issues with contraception I had that for like i was taking it for three months and after those three months i was just like no like i i'm and my skin got bad like i broke out like i think that's the only contraception that i've actually taken that made me break out like shit just works different like it just hits different from the way you'd expect it to with me and contraception i don't know why but yeah and then from then on i then started february i went to my gp again and i was just like you know what Oh, another thing. This is like TMI to the maximum. You know the song WAP? <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine wasn't a WAP, it was a DAP. I'm just gonna stop it there. Like, I'm just going to stop it there. If you do not know what a WAP is, I'm not, I'm not explaining it. I'm not, okay, I'm not explaining it. It was a DAP for those three months. I never had that issue <laughs> with contraception before. <laughs> that ended, and then I after those three months i literally just ended up being like um i can't so i went to my gp again made an appointment and pretty much sat down with the gp and the gp literally like you know you can just read on someone's face that like they literally don't know what else to do with you yeah that was my gp because she literally just sat there with me she's like huh so what do you want to do like it was literally that because she was like oh maybe we could like retry some of the other contraceptions before because like i explained to her how obviously some of it it was an issue to do with the fact that i was like i because the thing is right at that time the three months i was taking it i also gained weight which goes back to the same thing as when I was on the depot pill, the depot injection. I gained weight on that. On this one, I gained weight again. Like, I didn't even realize until, like, I thought of it again. I was like, oh, wait. My weight gain started from that. <laughs> like, I started gaining weight last year. But anyways. Rona also ended up adding on to that. And that's a whole different story. But 
yeah and then literally like doctor was just like sat there with me she was just like we could try potentially if you want to we could try a different like another form of contraception like retry some of the ones that you've had before and i was just like <laughs> remember the conversation right before she's like yeah and i was like yeah we're not doing that because i've already tried them i don't need to retry something twice okay like i don't need to try something twice it's like going back to your ex no i don't need to try something twice to know that it doesn't work <laughs> why would i do that so i was just like no i'm not doing it and then she's like okay fine so we'll try um and see we'll just monitor you and see how you go so pretty much as of february this year it's been like how many months february it's been like seven months since i've been like hormone free um see there's like positives and negatives to that sorry the positives to it my period has gone back well not gone back it's kind of like uh, readjusted itself before i used to have like seven days my period before seven days and now i have my period for like four to five days depending on sometimes i have five days and like four days and so i pretty much have like two two heavy days and then like the other ones like they're like a little bit lighter so it's not as bad um my cramps are not as bad well mm, that's a lie <laughs> that's a lie i like uh my cramps are <laughs> that's still an issue that needs to be addressed i currently have to take methanamic acid just for pain management that's the only thing the thing it's not like my cramps completely go away it's more of my cramps are like I can tolerate them like I have a high like a very high pain threshold but I can like I can I can feel that they're there but like I can tolerate them so it's not bad it's not like it completely completely makes my cramps go away like I got zero cramps and I'm like oh I have to go lucky like no it's not like that like, at all it's not but yeah and then I can't think of any other positives at this moment because it's not like it went from me coming off my contraception right whereas before i thought like maybe when i had the depot injection it was like an issue of that i was in the depot and then i was depressed at the same time so that shit like f just the depot kind of made my depression worse of which this time i was not depressed but i came off my contraception and then i got depressed <laughs> I'm only laughing because that's all I can do. Like I'm tired of crying. That's literally all I can do. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that didn't help because, and then that's when like quarantine started as well. So that didn't help either. I'm gonna do a video on updating you with like my mental health and everything because. thing is the only positive i can say is from this i can now gauge out because that's the thing that i spoke to my gp about that i was trying to see if you can gauge out like was it before when i had my depressive episode was it because was it also contributed because of the contraception i was on or what because i literally had contraception since i was 18 i'm 24 i'm gonna be 25 and like i'm only 25 this year so like that's quite a while of me having had like six slash seven different contraceptions like that's a lot like that's a lot so we're trying to like kind of figure out what exactly could have contributed towards that so yeah i've not had any form of contraception no i'm not going to be getting pregnant anytime soon at all in all fairness like kind of Quarantine kind of helped <laughs> with being a cock block. <laughs> Sorry, it's fine. Um, also, I'm just having to be more careful, like very careful. But like that doesn't help because like my anxiety is literally like, like <laughs> it doesn't help because I'm literally in my head. I'm like, don't get pregnant, don't get pregnant, don't fucking get pregnant. <laughs> don't get pregnant <laughs> that part that doesn't help 
that really doesn't help because I mean to be fair I'm not gonna say like even when I had contraception that like I wasn't as worried like I still was but it wasn't as bad because it was like I kind of had like two forms because it was like I had my contraception and then there's the condoms but then like now it's literally the only thing I rely on is literally condoms and <sighs> my anxiety on me potentially getting pregnant I don't, uh, I do not even want to think about it, like, at all, I don't. My pelvic region related issues in terms of like my cramps and the back aches and all that stuff, that's not been resolved by me being hormone free at all. It, to an extent, it kind of seems like it's getting worse. I, I, like, my cramps are worse. Like, to the point, that's why I now have prescribed pain relief. <laughs> <laughs> because taking paracetamol or stuff that shit don't work like it doesn't work it doesn't touch it anyways that's pretty much all i had to share in this video like feel free to like i'm gonna try and like create a playlist should be somewhere like the link will be somewhere in the description but i'm gonna create like a playlist of all the videos i've done in relation to like all my experiences with like my previous contraceptions and stuff but yeah so here's to 2020 <laughs> here's to 2020 and beyond of me being hormone free so I'm hoping to an extent like that everything else kind of settles down like my craziness well like that's not really that's just my personality so it's not really to do with like hormones and stuff but whatever but yeah that's pretty much all I had to like feel free to share with like anyone that you feel like can kind of benefit from hearing about somebody else's experience or I mean, obviously, I'm like the worst example for contraception. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I can't really say I'm the worst example because it's, it's not like I've got pregnant while I was on any of the contraceptions. That's the thing. I've not got pregnant, so it's just that I haven't found anything that's like clicked with me. Like, to the point where it's like, I know there's like side effects, there's always side effects with stuff, but then it's the case of that the side effects outweigh the benefit so it's like what's the point of me keeping myself suffering staying on the contraception it doesn't make sense but yeah so <laughs> 2021 hopefully no baby inside me 2022 no baby inside me 2023 hopefully no baby inside me 2020 like listen i don't know like just for the next five years like i don't know like do not um for the yeah like I, yeah so that's pretty much all i had to share for the video and if you like the video if you didn't like the video feel free there's like different buttons down there if you like the video share why you like it if you didn't like it also share why you didn't like it welcoming any form of criticism at the moment Bye. Yeah, so until next time, uh, it's pretty much what I had. And... Oh, yeah, by the way, if you want to see like how I created this like makeup look, whatever. Um, 